Hey guys, so I have four juice reviews for you today, and they're from this American based company called Four Seasons Elixirs. And yep, you guessed it, these e liquids are actually named after the four seasons in a year. They are spring, summer, fall, and winter. Now, these juices only come in 3, 6, and 9 milligrams, and all four that I have are of 9 milligrams. Now, I don't usually vape 9 milligrams e liquid, so I will not be touching on throat head on this particular review, as I'm not too sure how exactly is a 9 milligram e liquid supposed to taste like. Now, you can pick one of these guys up at eliquid.com, which is spelled as E L I Q U I D dot C O M, and they go for 25 bucks for a 30 ml bottle. Now, in terms of like PGVG ratios, um, they actually vary for this particular line. Now, spring is a 70% VG, 30% PG e-liquid, while summer, fall, and winter are all 60% VG, 40% PG. Now, really interesting bottles, I gotta admit. They come with a slight like aluminum cap, I'm guessing, and on the side of it, they actually come with the batch number and the bottle number, which is really nice in my opinion, as say if a batch or like a batch of juices were to go wrong, for example, it's really easy to trace down like which bottles are affected by it. So huge thumbs up for actually labeling the bottles with like batch numbers and bottle numbers on them. So anyhow, let's first start off with spring. Now, Spring is described on the website as a flowery liquid blend infused with orange and passion fruit. So I currently have mine in my reactor with a 0.6 ohms dual coil setup, and I'm going to be vaping it at 23.5 watts. So let's take a vape and talk about it. So get great clouds of this e-liquid. I tried all four juices in both a high wattage setup, like my Genesis Atomizers, and on a low wattage device in which I dripped into a 510 dripping atomizer from about 7 watts to 10 watts. Now in a high wattage setup, I had a light sweet passion fruit on the inhale, which extends over to the exhale and blends with like the sweet citrus flavor on the exhale. Like all passion fruits, it is a little bit florally, but the citrus note in this I found is not quite that of an orange, but rather it's more like that of a really ripe sweet tangerine. Really nice vape in my opinion. I like the way the tangerines actually help to like balance out the slight like florinas of like the passion fruits in this one. On a low wattage setup, similar flavor notes I gotta admit, but the passion fruit flavor becomes milder on the exhale. Well, the tangerines I found actually gets much stronger on a Yaxel on a low wattage device as compared to a high wattage one. So next up is summer. Now summer is described as strawberry and kiwi. So I currently have mine in my steam turbine with a dual coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms and I'm gonna be vaping this. Let me bump this up a bit. I'm going to be vaping this at 23 watts, so let's take a vape and talk about it. So you get, get, so you get tons of clouds once again. Then a high wattage device. I light strawberries on the inhale, with the same strawberries coming out even stronger on the exhale. From the mid to like the end of the exhale, that's where the kiwi actually comes in and blends with the strawberries. The strawberry, in my opinion, is like that of a hard candied strawberry, while the kiwi is really akin to that of like a fully ripe sweet kiwi. It is rather subtle though, it's not as strong as the strawberries, and it kind of works as a way to like balance out the sweetness of the strawberries through the tartness. I really like this juice a lot, and I gotta admit that it stays true to the name of summer as it's a really refreshing vape and the strawberry flavor in this, in my opinion, is just one that is really good. On a low wattage device, exactly the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage one. So next up is fall. 
Now fall was described as pumpkin spice, butterscotch, and tobacco. So I currently have mine in my set 22 with a single coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms with 3 to 5 straw mesh. So I get good clouds off this. Now do note that the set 22 comes with really small air holes that it's kind of like a 1 mm. So I will not be getting as much clouds off this particular Genesis atomizer. On a high wattage setup, I like butterscotch on the inhale with this really strong, robust pumpkin spice on the exhale. It's a really rich pumpkin spice. However, I think this pumpkin spice note actually overpowers the tobacco just a little too much for my liking. While there are subtle like nuances of like the earthiness of the tobacco in the background, it is rather faint and you don't quite taste it as much as like the pumpkin spice in this juice. And I personally would have liked to have seen just like a little more tobacco in this, especially since it's like um, kind of like marketed as a tobacco vape. Now, what I found about this juice is that it actually reminds me a lot of gingerbread. So if you like gingerbread, I personally think that you'll like this juice a lot. On a low wattage setup, exactly the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage one. So next up is winter. Now winter is described as graham cracker with vanilla swirl. So I currently have mine in once again another set 22 with a 0 0.7 ohm single coil and 3 to 5 straw mesh. So here it goes. So get good vapor once again. Now in a high wattage setup, add a creamy sweetness on the inhale with a creamy mix of like caramel and vanilla on the exhale. From the mid to the end of the vape, that's where the graham cracker note actually comes out and melts with the existing flavor. It's a really great vape, especially for one who likes dessert vapes, as it's really sweet and desserty at the same time. And the more I vaped it, the more I actually thought that it kind of reminds me of that, of like, you know those Magnum Bar chocolate ice cream, um, and they have a caramel flavor. It actually tastes like that to me, just like without the graham cracker aspect in it. On a low wattage setup, once again, exactly the same flavor profile as set of a high wattage one. So yeah, overall, I've been really impressed by like Four Season Elixirs. They're the same company that makes um, chapter 12, um, e-liquids and I was really impressed by those e-liquids. Really great flavor profile in my opinion and if you're someone who do not like that much of a throat hit, definitely check this one out as they actually offer like lower milligrams juices as compared to like the, tr the traditional like 6, 12, 18, 24 that's usually out there. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next video. Peace.